Hello, everybody. How's it going? Well, we finally completed it. Well, no, I can't say completed. I still got to run water. We've been busy, <coughs> though. We're going to show you what we've been up to. We have been busy. Got the RV pad installed, and we're going to show you the whole process of what we did to, to build it so that we got the rig out from in front of the house and out of the front window. Yeah, it, I kind of felt bad putting it in front of the house. You know, I didn't want to look like some, I don't know, redneck, I guess. <laughs> At least it wasn't up on blocks. This is true. It wasn't <laughs> on blocks. But anyway, uh, we got 50 amp ran. Uh, there was knock on wood. Uh, they put a new box in the uh, shop and just so happened to leave two spots and that worked out perfect. I could run a 50 amp off of that so. Alright, we're going to run that wire. Um, we're going to run it right along there. Right along with that other one, over to the freezer, on the back side of the freezer. Over to the electrical box there? Yes. Did you get your uh, fuse put in over there? Uh, no, I'm going to put that in last. Okay, okay. I went ahead and ran uh, 150 feet? I think uh, it was... 120 feet. 120 feet, I was uh, 30 off. We found out that was the most expensive part of the whole deal, was buying that 50 amp wire oh my gosh about that big around that was what, expensive what does it run five dollars a foot something like that yeah yep. yeah so 120 feet of that you do the math <laughs> yeah it was <laughs> plus the box plus the outlet plus the breaker conduit conduit we trenched yep. it trenched it off the corner of the garage across to the rv pad yep. so it's got 50 amp and i ran a 110 back over there so that's that's the electrical part and then um, we went into the farm supply in town and got um, railroad ties and that's what we used to kind of box out the rv pad and i think we got what 12, 12 of them 12 or 13. and as we were beginning it we just used them to outline the area where the pad was going and then that helped us helped him <laughs> dig and move dirt around to level the pad out because we are in a little bit of a downhill slope.
All right, now that we've got the basic layout of it done, tomorrow, rototilling. But once we got that trailer moved, check out what we found. Looks like an armadillo hole. And then after we got it all leveled, he put down landscaping fabric to keep the weeds out. Yeah, hopefully that'll work. And brought in a ton of, we ended up having to go with base. Yeah, they call it class seven, I guess. It's three quarter inch with, uh, with uh, decomposed granite in with it. Wasn't what we wanted, No. but we found out what we wanted isn't even available here. Dude, there's a shortage of three quarter inch rock in this county. And we found a place that had it, but for a trucker to go in there and get it, they had to carry like a million dollar liability policy and nobody around here has that, so. Yeah. Um, so we got what we could and then we shoveled. 12 yards. By hand. 12 yards by hand. And we got it done probably in about what? Of course he tailgated a little bit of it and helped us out a little bit. So we were doing just a little bit of shoveling, not bad. No, it wasn't. We, I think we had it all spread and leveled in about two hours, if that. We have critters running around us. Yeah. Right? Right up in everybody's face. Won't leave us alone. Well, that's not bad. I figured it would it squat more than that. Right?
that rock spread faster than we thought. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Yeah, it, it does. It's as good as rock can get when it's flat. I think we might be moved in by tonight. Yeah. Yep. Get on our 50 amp hookup over there and uh, test the old, uh, the new RV pad out. <laughs> yeah, get out of mom's driveway. And out of her front window. Yeah. <laughs> the dog keeps leaving nose, her dog keeps leaving nose prints on the window trying to look out the window <laughs> at Lulu. So uh, we'll give her a break and get over there on our part of the yard. Yeah. Looks good. I think we got it. I think so. As soon as we had it all leveled, we had the got the rig backed in and set up, and it's great. So, <laughs> there's the rooster. Where are you going, Granny? Oh, my mom's uh, happened to go across the driveway, and now I got to go behind her and rake out all the shuffle marks that she's uh, shuffled into the ground. Ooh, look at her go. Boy, she is kicking up some rock. Good Lord. Woo <laughs> There's about 10 feet. She's going at it for 20 minutes. And she made it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're thrilled. Um, he's run just a water hose for now, so we have water. I've got to run water. Future plans, just doing it as time and finances allow at some point we'll run water we've talked about getting that 250 gallon propane tank and, and i hate that rooster i do i hate that rooster go on anyway anyways talked about putting in a 250 gallon propane tank so that we're not constantly having to run to town to fill our onboard tanks because the propane place is what 30 miles from here yeah so and then at some point um we've talked to the waste management guy in town too about buying or renting a waste tank and then he charges 30 dollars a pop to come out and pump it for the black tank out right now we're just pumping it into the blue boy and then taking it and disposing of it so yep so yeah that's been going on in between all of his other chores he's had around here yeah mowing trimming, landscaping, manscaping. <laughs> well, we won't go there. <laughs> the trees are all in bloom now. It's beautiful here. The weather's been nice. Yeah, it's starting to, it's starting to get nicer, cooler in the evenings. You can sit out and enjoy the, the sound of the frogs. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. So it's been, uh, it's been great. Time's been flying. We've been busy but relaxed yeah and and the time's flying by so anyways we hope you enjoy what we did here hope you find it interesting and um we'll be back with more of our hijinks in another week hijinks hijinks oh i thought you said hijinks <laughs> no i'm, I'm showering <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you need hygiene. <laughs> anyway, we're going to let y'all go, and we will catch you guys in the future. Yep, see you next week. See ya. <laughs> Bye.